Hey, this is cool. <laughs> the city is filthy. The night sky pours down rain like it has a personal grudge. The rhythm of droplets on the pavement echoes through the city's desolate alleyways. A mournful serenade to the lost souls that roam this town. The rain comes from above, but something else comes from below. A thick black sludge seeps up through the cracks in the streets, as if the city itself is bleeding its own filth and corruption. It'll stick to your soul, they laugh, but most people have long stopped wondering what exactly is oozing up through the ground. Just another bit of filth to scrape off at the end of the day. That's me. Cliff Spanner, private investigator. Got a mystery you need to unravel? I'm your guy. At least I used to be. Smoke curls from the end of my sparkler, turning to ash on my desk. Smoky tendrils fade into the dank air. The rain beats against the office window. The only light is from the street light outside. Through the sheets of rain and the dusty blinds, the dim, amber glow casts ghostly shadows across my desk. Okay, awesome. A sign on the door reads, Cliff Spanner, private investigator. A sudden knock on my office door shatters the silence. Yeah, come in. A woman steps into the room. Her silhouette oozes sensuality. Her eyes shimmer with desperation and allure. Her face is stunning. She moves with an elegance that seems to defy the grimy streets she must have traversed to get here. I catch a hint of her perfume, something intoxicating as she approaches my desk. I need your help, Mr. Spanner. There's something terribly wrong, and I don't know who else to turn to. Need a light? I thought you'd never ask. What seems to be the problem, Miss? Uh... Call me Effie. All right, Effie, what brings you? It's my brother, Rusty. Rusty Blackwood. He's disappeared, and I fear the worst. Blackwood. That name is familiar. Effigale and Rustwick Blackwood, right? You and your brother are heirs to the vast Blackwood Oil Company that powers the whole city. Tell me everything, Miss Blackwood. I thought I told you to call me Effie. My brother, Rusty. You see, he fell in with some sort of environmental activist. Some floozy named Misty. Misty? She filled his head with all manner of nonsense. She convinced him that the Blackwood Oil Company wrecked the city, polluted it, and that it was built upon the backs of exploited workers and a damaged environment. Can you imagine? This city would be pitch black without my family's energy. That's when I started noticing changes around the office. Incomplete reports, mysterious memos, strange phone calls at all hours. I tried to brush it off as simple negligence, but, oh Cliff, I have begun to suspect that my brother is secretly working with Sunshine Power. Sunshine Power. They're that new energy company. Harnessing the sun's rays for cheap, clean power, right? They must be a pretty big competitor for your oil business, aren't they? Well, that's just it, Cliff. With Rusty in bed with the competitor, in bed with Misty, in bed with Sunshine Power, I fear he planned to bring down the Blackwood Oil Company. You think your brother would destroy your family legacy? At first, I couldn't believe it. We're family. But the heart wants... What the heart wants, Cliff? The heart can lead a man down the darkest alleyways. And your father? Does he know about this? My father is a powerful man, Mr. Spanner. The sole owner of Blackwood Oil. And there's nothing that goes on in the company he doesn't know about. And if Rusty defected to a rival green energy upstart... Oh, Cliff. Cliffy. You don't think... I don't think... what? You don't think that my father would, in his displeasure, that he would have 
hurt my brother. Do you? I can't say, Miss Blackwood. Uh, Effie. Whatever happened to my brother, Cliff, I need to know the truth, no matter how painful. I'll find your brother, Effie. The truth has a way of revealing itself, even in the darkest corners. Thank you, Mr. Spanner. Cliffy, please, bring my brother back. The scent of Effie's perfume lingers in the air. It is certain this case will be my greatest trial yet. The stakes are high, the danger palpable, but I am a private eye, born to the shadows, a crusader in the face of darkness. I am Cliff Spanner, and I have a mystery to solve. mops the floor. It's late, well beyond working hours. Come to think of it, I'm pretty sure someone had already mopped the hallway today. There's something familiar about his weathered face, his tired eyes, but the thought is fleeting. Hey, you. Someone left a box for you outside. I nod and continue on. Tonight, my mind belongs to Effie and Effie alone. I step into the inky black night, my footsteps falling heavily on the wet, rain-soaked pavement. They go without opening. <clears throat> the street is illuminated with the harsh neon light of a Blackwood Oil Company billboard. Across the way, there's an even brighter billboard for sunshine power. Blackwood's upstart new rival, a renewable energy company. I turn up my collar against the rain. A box beside the door catches my attention. A note says, come home soon, love mom. Inside are several goo balls. busy.
Was it this guy that nothing happened with him when I clicked him? He looks busy. And it came with these. You want them? Looks busy. Okay, I got the goo balls. Okay, I had to restart it. Basically, it bugged out. <laughs> I ordered a hot dog, and it came with these. You want them? <laughs> so basically, if it bugs out, just replay it. I mean, simple enough, I suppose. That was cool.